Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Stardew Valley. Last night, uh, we passed right on out. And today, well, also, last night, we also went to the island, Ginger Island, for the first time. And now, I need to fix up my inventory, because since I passed out, I ran out of uh, time to sell items. I'm selling higher quality fertilizers as well as new crop selections. See soon. Now, I am interested in those fertilizers. Found your face down in the mud during my 3 a.m. sweep. You should try to make it home a little earlier next time. Well, hey, we didn't lose anything, so I'll take it. I can't grab that. I ordered too much fertilizer for the garden. Yep. Well, this sucks. Uh, slime, I guess. I will take that. Uh, because that's going to be... No oh, my goodness. What do I do with all this? Get out of here. Get out of my inventory. A lot of these are items specific to the uh, new area, though, so... Can't really do much with it. All right. So, let's see what's happening around here. I still kept this open, unfortunately. But they're all real happy they can graze again. Also, I can finally start getting truffles once more. Guess I'll do my chores. Uh, what was our thing? Pro yeah, that's right. It's the produce. So we can do that just throughout the whole year, luckily. So we don't have to worry about that too much. Yep, I'm going to do my chores. I'll see you in a second. Here we go. Yep, this is going to be fat stacks on fat stacks. Now, here's the thing. I'm not sure if I'm going to refill this whole area at this moment with starfruit specifically. I'll keep the coffee in there, of course, because there's no reason not to. Because, uh, well, I mean, if you know about the 1.5 update, you know why I probably won't do it. But I don't know. There's no reason for it to not be filled with starfruit, I suppose. But... Just, uh, you'll see. You'll see why. I'm going to ponder that for a few days, because uh, money is good, but also there's a more <coughs> there's a more convenient way to do this later. Uh, so all this star fruit will go into here, and we'll be putting that into kegs soon. Uh, just about everything else I do need. I don't need all the spring forging items. Hmm. And of course, a lot of these are also just gift items. I had the copper going. Uh, I do want iron. I'm gonna need iron soon. Specifically because I wanna make more of these lightning rods because batteries are going to be useful for specifically iridium sprinklers. So go ahead and place the rest away. I'm gonna give some items out as gifts today. That's what I'm thinking. There's real, let's listen. I love my crab pots. Love my crab pots to death. Not too useful anymore. So, one thing I'm gonna do is introduce y'all to a new character. I'm gonna take this down to the mines. And since we did get the Dwarf Scroll 3 quite recently, we can now talk to him. Ah, cave carrot stew, cave carrot roast, cave carrot soup, and cave carrots all gr I'm gonna offend French people. And a ramekin, ramekin of cave carrot brulee to sweeten the night. What? And he has a store. Life elixir, which restores health to full, which is really good. Oil of garlic, drink this and weaker monsters will avoid you. Miner's treat, which is a great mining item. And then the last scarecrow we've yet to grab. Uh, decoration and a floor recipe. I'll take that, of course. Uh, that's all you need from here for 100%, and I will gift you any dwarf item will be loved. So go ahead and give them those if you want to get your things up with them. But yep, yeah, that is a relationship character. Nope, that's liked, not loved. My bad. And we have Kent here as well. New character to learn and love. His birthday is on the 4th of spring, so you don't miss it uh, or forget about him before that comes around. So... We'll be worrying about Kent's relationship as well now, so we're not too behind with only opening the island this late, so don't worry about that. I think going to the bus stop will actually be... Oh no, my horse isn't here. Guess I'll go to town then. Yeah, we're gonna grab this, because we have our gold trash can now. Yoink us. And we're gonna get going. So now... I guess what we're waiting for in terms of getting money is, I didn't want to sit there. 
I need to... No, nothing for you. Oh, Ken, how, how do you feel about blackberries? This is going to be disliked, isn't it? That's a really great gift. Oh, he likes them. Neat. Well, there's an easy thing for Clint. I mean, for the next day, because I'm sure we're going to use the rest of these blackberries. We're not going to go back into that dungeon tonight because we've been, I mean, to put it mildly, getting our ass handed to us. So I think we're going to do things elsewhere out there. Of course, heading out as soon as I can. Uh, making those island totems are really going to help us out in the near future. So I'm going to try my best to get the items we need for those. Let's get going. Here we are. Uh, that one, I didn't even skip the opening. It just kind of did it on its own. So we do have 10 golden walnuts and that's very, very important for this parrot right here. This is the first one you want to give to, which I'm pretty sure it's the only one we can give to currently, but ignoring that. Get out of here. Show them the business. And this is where you'd warp to if you use an island, island totem or island obelisk. Now, what does this look like, huh? Weird. 20 walnuts to repair the sleep hut. That will be nice. Uh, it doesn't look like I can get over there from here, but if I take a little path around here, what are you for? 10 walnuts for the Parrot Express. We only have four, but we're going to be grabbing quite a few, I imagine, soon. Like this one. Yoink. Yeah, we've unlocked basically another half of the island. Like, this is a lot of the island here, so we're going to be able to get plenty. Uh, it's a mahogany tree. Also, there's tiger slimes here. Jeez. You could just die in this area. But yeah, this is a farming area. Basically a second farm. Way better than your original farm, no matter what farm you chose. Another journal scrap. Because it can all be used for any crop at any time of the year. Wildly cool. This is one of our end game items here. You hear a strange voice from behind the door. Only the greatest walnut hunters may enter here. Your current status is 18 out of 100 walnuts. So we'll be coming back there in a while. What does that journal scrap say? I won't go hungry here. The waters are full of edible, nay, delicious fish. I even caught a stingray in the caves by the southeast shore. I haven't a clue what to do with it though. The other day I even fished up a couple of golden walnuts. They seem to be all over the island. The local parrots grow nuts for them. Yeah, so we can fish up a couple of those. This looks a little... little sussy baka. Nope. Nothing. Good. And hello there. Another person. Perhaps it's your journal scraps we're finding. Oh, a visitor? Come closer, child. I haven't had a visitor in many moons. I almost forgot what other people looked like. Well, I suppose now that you're here, I may as well ask you for a favor. Come. Have you seen that wrecked ship on the south shore? My husband was the captain. A pirate he was. He set sail one day, never to return. It took me three years sailing the high seas to find his remains. <sighs> I've been here ever since, dear. Guarding his bones. My child, if I could only find a keepsake of his, it would bring me such peace. Wait here. Here, take this. It's an old photograph that washed up on the shore. It's all I have to offer, but somehow I think it'll help you find what I seek. Okay, more memento, huh? Well, there's one person that we know that's been in the war. This is basically a long fetch quest that we just started. An old lady living on Ginger Island is asking you to keep find a keepsake of her husband's. She gave you an old photograph of a soldier that washed up on shore, hoping, hoping it would help in some way. All right, uh, while we're doing that though, I know who to bring that to, but I'm gonna keep grabbing these golden walnuts because I'd like to unlock as much here as I possibly can. Now that's, come on, come on now. Literally an X that marks the spot. Yo, look at this little dude. Oh, 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 nothing doing. You hate to see it. I'm gonna grab all these, cause more, more than anything, why not? Can I, 
Oh, it's ginger. Okay. I'll grab those. No reason not to. In fact, I'll grab as many of those I, as I can for those island totems. This is, we've circled back around to the farm area over here. Uh, there's something I f saw down here that I'd like to do. Break open these. Give us mussels. These are little, uh, I believe they're called fossil rocks and yet another golden walnut. We have the 10 for whatever that parrot wanted it for up top, but I think I'm going to save up the 20 for the sleep abode or the sleep area. What do they call it? The sleep hut, maybe? I don't know. Take all these mussels, though. Keep in mind, there's not really anywhere we can sell to around here. So, hmm. I find it weird that I didn't see any dig spots. They might be in, like, the corners around here or something. Um, yeah, I'm going to need to clear all this off. But what I want to do first before all of that is, remember how we got those tarot tubers? Well, we don't actually need to water those. So I'm going to go ahead and clear off some area around this. Like I told you, it is just like rice. So we'll be able to plant this right around here. I believe I'll do like two spots next to it. I think three can work, but it just stresses me out doing three. And I don't think we have this much anyway, but uh, we'll plant all those. Yeah, seven tarot tubers. And of course they have the water showing that they are properly planted, so. Don't need to worry about those until they're done. I do need to clear off all of this. I don't know if we're going to get any golden walnuts from it. I'm missing, I'm only missing like six now, right? Eight. Okay, that's a little bit more than I thought there would be. I think also unlocking the side area over here to the left unlocked another parrot right smack dab in the middle here. Or maybe not. Maybe I just didn't. Yeah, because that's all still hidden over there. They said that you could get some from fishing. In fact, you know what? I've never fished on the... Never eat sour watermelons. The western side yet. Because I they call the items like... Or the island parts. That's like the island central. This is the island, island west. The forest we were into was the island east. And then up where the volcano is, is the island north. I'm going to fish down here for a little bit and see if I can't fish up some of those golden coconuts. And there's that crashed ship. Oh, you hate to see it. There's one. There's two. There's three. It doesn't seem to want to give me more than that for now, so we'll take it. Also, there's a little path down here. Bada boom, bada bing. That's 16. I'd like to, I'd really like to get 20 today. And if I, so like, hold on, I wanna check this. I think I can just like, uh, yeah, bonk, got him. Normally, another way you could do that is just by getting three placeable items, of which I have zero, place them on three of the holes and then just whack him with whatever you have and that would work as well. I'm going to, hmm, should I do it? I'm thinking, I'm going to go ahead and plant some things here, even though I... No. No, I'm not going to plant things until I unlock the house. I think that's something I'm going to stay a stout defender of. I know the locations of a couple of the other golden walnuts. I'm trying to recall some of the runs around here, but I don't think I can remember them. Of course, one thing that's nice about here is nothing really closes at like 8, so it's not like you're stuck out here after that time doing nothing. There's one thing that I know that we can do. I guess we can check on Leo to see if he'll uh, be our friend now that we gave them 10 golden coconuts. Cook of nuts? No, walnuts. So let us in. Hello. It's nighttime. Oh! Maybe we have won him over. Shy. Y you bird friend? Get poked. Seem good.
She asked if you are bird friend. I told her yes. Uwu. Uh, hmm. Where are your parents? Big storm. Waves. Lightning. Mother. Father. Swallowed by the sea. I washed up on shore. No, no, no. That, that was just a dream, right? No. I was born here, just like all the other bird friends. Can't you tell? Hmm. How old are you? Old? We don't think like that. We say, how many golden walnuts have you eaten? I've eaten 3,729 golden walnuts. But you don't become an elder until you've eaten 10,000. I'll get there someday. Hey. I remembered something. My name... It's Leo. Awesome. Now we're talking to Leo, baby. Uh, what do you think he likes? I really don't, I don't think we have anything that he would like. Uh, so, I'm just gonna smack your tree. And we're gonna get going. How's that sound, huh? Here. When the sun is angry, it feels good in the jungle. When, when it's daytime, I, I assume. Yeah, he's a fun little character. I love going through his. I've only gone through it once, but I enjoyed every moment of it. Let's look for a few more golden walnuts before the night passes, why don't we? Okay, we have 18. We only need two more, and I know where two diggable spots are down here on the beach. We can have them build the sleep hut, and, well, you can imagine what we'll be doing then. Which um, is maybe a good idea or bad idea, depending on how much stuff you have left over at the old farm. Bonk! There's one there. And I don't know where exactly this other one is, but I know... It is located somewhere. Aha, here's one. Bonk, that's 20. Now I'm gonna go ahead and have them make that sleep hut before we go. If we do go, I should say. This is the point where it gets really good to have a lot of autonomous money-making efforts on your farm. So we're gonna probably work towards that pretty soon. Take my walnuts. Take my nuts, dude. Time's not passing, God bless. Wow, why have construction companies when you can have parrots? Check this out. It's a whole house. Oh, I was gonna say it counts my stuff from my other house, but no. It's just because, oh. Have we made that before? I don't think we've made that before. Oh, I'll just go ahead and whomp. No reason to not, because add to our list of things. Bed. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna move it like down here so it's closer to the door. Yeah, we can sleep here now. So what I'm actually gonna do is real quick, I'm gonna plant these uh, pineapples that we've gotten and start working on farming them. Oh yeah, that's what the iridium items look like, by the way. It's huge, all right. Uh. Pineapple seeds take 14 days to mature. We don't have any good soils. I mean, we have quality fertilizer we can make. How much sap do we have? Literally just two. Ah, sure. Sure, dude. Boom. And then I'll plant all of the pineapples. And then just a quick little spritz on top. And those will start growing tomorrow. And we'll really get started on this farm tomorrow because we are out of time for today. Unfortunately, like I said, you do have to go back to sell literally anything. So unfortunately we might be hopping back and forth a little bit, but this means we won't have to pay a thousand gold to get here in the first place, which is really nice. Day two of spring, year two, and we're not even on we're not in the Stardew Valley anymore. It's weird. The whole name of the game is gone. 
spreading weeds caused damage to my farm. Good, you love to see it. At least it didn't touch my lovely, lovely pineapples. So yeah, with this, we can start a whole day on this farm. And the tarot tubes really, really started growing. All right. I think today might be a good day to... With venomous spines. Why can I just eat it just fine, though? It still gives me plus 44 health. Plus 404 health. Good lord, that's good for magma caps. I think we're going to go and finish the volcano dungeon again. This is new. Hello. You the farmer who tended to tended the land outside me house, bub? The land once teemed with fresh, fresh food. -a. Me wish to see in them the teeming once more. Grow you for me. The pink thing. The juicy thing. You be growing the thing outside now, bub? Yes. You know grow the thing I wish to see. Grow the thing and return it to me. You got it. Uh, that's a melon. <laughs> Even though it was explained a little oddly. Perhaps. Oh, you're here now. Okay, how many do you want? That's a little expansive, though. All right. Yeah, we're gonna... Oh, I don't have a lot of room here. I'd imagine that the... Uh, yeah, some of the ones up here have also filled in. They really wanted you to go in order here. Man, it really opens up, huh? I already got that one. That coconut apparently regrows pretty often. Oh, look at all this ginger. Holy moly. All right, idea. Ginger is mine. How much do you want? 10 and that's to get over here that unlocks quite a bit as well we don't have a lot of space in our inventory for a lot but i don't think we need a lot we don't need that i am going to be heading back to stardew valley tonight um i am going to finish this volcano first though because i would like to do that uh however oh i didn't even need to press the button okay since I just made it out here in the first place, it unlocks, even though I didn't press the button. That's really good for us. Okay, okay, I'll take it. That's a prismatic shard, baby. You receive the prismatic shard, okay. So, this is a weapon and uh, item upgrade area. I just realized I can kind of get rid of the galaxy sword because I do like the Dragon Tooth Club some more. Uh, you can place a weapon or tool on the left slot, place a gemstone in the right. You can also combine two rings. So, I could make an entire video guide to this on its own. I'll put you here. Hmm, I'm thinking, I'm really thinking about what I should do. Actually, I'm gonna take the pickaxe. And if I put a prismatic shard here, I'll make Used to break stones with a random enchantment. It doesn't really tell us. And it also says it costs 20 cinder shards to do it. Um, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. So what did we get? Swift. That's literally exactly what I wanted. That makes us able to swing this a lot quicker. Which is kind of what you want for a lot of your tools. But there's a few of them that are better with other things, so... We'll be keeping an eye on that. You do need to bring different gemstones like jades and stuff like that though. Oh, also, if you want, you can create a bridge here so that you don't have to use your watering can, but you're going to want the watering can for the whole dungeon anyway. So, seems like a little bit of a moot point to me. I think the next one we're going to work towards is this guy right here, which only costs 10 walnuts. Did I ever get this one? I did. Man, that's going to really hurt me not remembering which ones I've done and which ones I have. Okay, so seeing how we kind of got the farm started, I need, I do need iridium sprinklers. I need to empty off the farm as well. I'm gonna do some more fishing real quick just to see if I can get those other two golden co or go golden, I'm gonna say coconuts a lot. I'm sorry about that. Oh, come on. Let's at least pan right here. Why don't we? I really wanted that bubble spot. Anyway, there's two more golden walnuts we can get from fishing. And I'm gonna try and get them. Ah, oh, well, still nothing. I suppose that's fine. Let's go back to Stardew Valley. 
No reason to use the farm totem if I don't need to. Go ahead and skip the animation. No reason to watch it. Yo, Willy. I do have a lot of fish for you. Go ahead and yoink them up. Uh, lionfish are worth 150 each, it seems, as gold. Yeah, okay. And also 27 mussels, because why not? Yeah, just because they're new doesn't mean that they're worth, like, an exorbitant amount, unfortunately, for ourselves. So, you hate to see it, you really do. I will take the seashell. Uh, we have quite a bit to do here. I want to... I <sighs> still got to give out some gifts because I haven't covered a lot of the gifts for this week. Um, obviously, we need to upkeep all of our animals as Abigail maxed out. She is not. She probably is okay with getting an Iridium Dandelion, I'd imagine. Yeah, sure. Sure. Could be close to maxing her out, I think. Nothing physical, just some online classes I'm taking. Oh, spring, yeah. You <laughs> quarantine, am I right? Can't watch them. Can't, or can't go in yourself. I happen to have a Joe Cola for you. Neat. Just working on him. Uh, I do have a Coke of Nut for Haley, because I don't believe she's maxed out yet, unless that scene maxed her out. She is very much not. She still has two whole hearts left. Enjoy your Coke of Nut. This is my favorite thing. Oh, who would have guessed? Now you're 9 out of 10 as opposed to 8 out of 10. We'll take it. Maru, Maru and Harvey still need to be maxed out. Now, I do wonder if my kegs are done, maybe. Because it has been a while since I've looked at them. It was also a while since I put them in. I think they probably have a little bit longer, though. I want to actually, you know what? I want to check the... Oh, Harvey. Oh, Harvey, I don't have coffee for you. I'm so sorry. I do happen to know that you like blackberries, though, so take it. Is he... Wait, did that put him at 10? I think I... Or 8, rather. Nope, still 9. Okay, I saw the red circle, and I was like, <gasps> but no. Need parsnip for experiment. Lucky you, we're going to be... Well, we're not going to have parsnip in time for you to do that, but still. Uh, you had new... New fertilizers, right? Yeah, he has all the quality ones. And Deluxe Speed Grow, too, which is a really good one. I might... Not might. I'm going to buy just tons of this. Because remember, if I use it in a spot where the seasons never change, fertilizer never leaves. And that's the entire island, baby. So I'm going to buy just a tons of those, use them all up, and go absolutely wild on it, really. Squeewell. It's been so it's so long since I've seen any color around here. It's so odd. I should just now that I'm thinking about it make some chests over at the other uh at the other farm. Thought it'd be fun to send you a letter. I really don't know what to write though. I've enclosed a treat for you. It's a whole pizza. Thank you, Shane. Thank you so very much. We got some more oak resin here. Aha! The wines are in fact ready. So I'm going to grab all of those star fruit and get those going as well. Uh, sheesh, I don't have a lot of regular ones, funnily enough. Guess my farming level is just too goaded. Too amazing. Don't eat the star fruit. That would be the biggest waste of money. And then we can grab them and fill them in at the same time. This is good. This will give us a lot of money that we'll want. I'm still... Hmm. I still want that galaxy hammer because it is better than the dragon dragon uh, claw tooth club. So that's still worth it in my eyes. 75,000. I think those wines will probably give us enough for it. But also, I do want money for those obelisks. Although I think that'll still be a bit longer yet until we absolutely start incredibly like mass farming everything. Cut all these down because, again, I would like as many kegs as humanly possible. Okay, and I'm going to not forget to place a star fruit here. Hey, a truffle. Yoink. Uh, that's one of Leah's loved items, so I might uh, just give her some of those. Man, my inventory is really looking a mess, huh? Gonna have to sell some items soon, I think. Oh, boy. Speaking of a mess, it is literally completely full. 
All right, well, let's fix some of that. Made six more kegs. Gonna need more iron bars, oddly enough, for that. Okay, I do want to start going around giving people presents. Marnie needs presents now. Oh, Leo does love quartz. Or, no, he likes quartz, so that's an easy item to give to him if you want to raise his level. Um, I'm going to grab this crocus for Jass, emerald for Penny, dwarf scroll for the boy. Y'all know what's up. Okay. I'll put these... Uh, well, I mean, why put the kegs back when I can just put yet more starfruit in them, you know? I can maybe try to fill up this shed completely soon. That would be really poggers. Place them like this. That would be the best way about it. And it's a lot more wine we're going to get. That'll be worth even more money. Oh, guess who who forgot to put that coffee in yet again? Jeez, you hate to see it. That's fine, I suppose. Get this hot pepper for Shane as well. Okay. Uh, jeez. It feels like I have just... Remember how we used to be, like, thinking of what to even do on given days? Yeah, now I'm overwhelmed. I'll tell you that much for sure. All right. So who are we looking for presents for? Literally everyone. Okay. Uh, Shane has not gotten anything. My boy. Okay, I have something to show you. Where did you find this? This man... We fought together in the war, Rob. He was like a brother to me. But only one of us made it back. He never lost his courage, though, even in the face of death. A true hero. I'll never forget him. Thanks for bringing me this. It means a lot to me. Here, take this. It's been sitting in the back of our cupboard for years, and we've never used it. Gourmet tomato salt. Now, who might use gourmet tomato salt. Well, I can think of one person. Like I said, this is a <laughs> just a tiny bit of a fetch quest. Yeah, I want the crocus for Jass. Oh, hello. Things are going on here. Hi, I'll take your order in a few moments. It's not really what I'm here for, but all right. Also, hey, aren't you supposed to be at the shop, Pierre? Oh, this is an Elliot scene. Hello, Rob. What a pleasant surprise. I was just stopping in to relax after an eight-hour writing session. Bartender, two of your finest ales, please. Don't you know him by name? Yeah. <laughs> really? Jeez. Like, there's only like 28 people here. Well, a few more than 28, but there's only so many people here. There you go, sir. Wait, I propose a toast to your doom. No, to Pelican Town. Ah, to a harmonious future for the community. What a virtuous idea. Here's to Pelican Town. He's literally like romance novel, like generic romance novel boy. Strong stuff. And I am filled with energy and also tipsy. Nice, that lowers my speed stat, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it actually happens, too. Hello! Well, folks, once again, we've gathered for a sp very special occasion. A rare visit from a very dear friend. My world-famous giant omelette. Zesty bell pepper, juicy tomato, rich mushroom, and tangy cheese all enrobed in a blanket of rich, fluffy egg. Dig in, folks. Good lord. Willie, what do you think? Hmm. The mushrooms are a tad chewier than last year. Is that a good thing? Hi, lad. It's great, Gus, and it tastes even better because it's on the house. These eggs are so rich and yellow. Marnie, are these from your place? Nope, you can thank Rob over at Lazuli Farm. Yeah, my eggs, even though I've only turned them into mayonnaise. Mmm, Lazuli eggs. 
I like how th there's definitely a chance that you've never... No, never mind. That's the scene that we got for giving him all the eggs. Never mind. I was like, what if you never had eggs and they did that in any way? But no, that's not how it works. Is that that sharp smell? That zesty taste. That gritty texture. It can only be gourmet tomato salt. I'll trade you for it. You re received a Stardew Valley rose. Oh, I forget who this one goes to. Reminds you of the valley. It smells heavenly, huh? Can we get a hint? Oh, that's beautiful. I have a friend who would love that, but she lives far from me. I know who it is. If we know someone who loves flowers, actually. Well, that's easy. Um, I have a hot pepper for you. How'd you know this is my favorite? Still not 10 out of 10, though. There we go. Literally talking to him did it. I guess I've grown attached to Marnie and Jass. We're kind of a ragtag bunch, but it's kind of kind of feels like a weird family. That's cute. Wow. It's funny that they have Emily right there because she... Oh, I can't get to the desert now. Yeah, I'm tipsy. Can't get to the desert. Hey, Marnie, I have a diamond for you. Yeah, enjoy. You should be maxed out sometime soon. Uh, who else now? Jass? I doubt she's gonna be home alone, yeah? Oh, did I just crit <laughs> that trash can? Um, Vincent, I should have grapes for you, yeah. Grapes for the boy. Thank you so much, this is terrific. Yeah, I know. I know it. Oh, Jody's already maxed out, I didn't even realize. Uh, cool. Oh, Kent's just right here, chillin', chillaxin'. Jass would probably be with Penny at the library now. I'm going to have to pay like extra attention to all of the characters now because now I, I'm split between Pelican Town and all the way down on the island too. So we're going to have to like utilize our time in each area effectively. Sorry if I look a little messy. Oh, you're already maxed out. Wait, what? Oh, that's right. We maxed him out during his birthday when we gave him that. Oh, it's closed at six, huh? Uh, then where's Penny at? I like how the music just abruptly stopped when it hit like 7 p.m., by the way. Ooh. What, what you doing there, Abigail? Our beloved Mona. Oh wait, hold on. Also, since we have the translation guide, you translate the Dorvish. Stand between the pillars three with, with a gift as precious as the sky, a rainbow forged from land, not sea. Then galaxies will hear, hear, heed your cry which is uh, the thing about holding the prismatic shard between the three pillars, which we already did. No need to worry about that. Is Jas really like alone at her house? Also, houses are gonna start closing soon, so I gotta make sure that I get right on over there. Oh, hello. I, d I didn't realize I was missing so many scenes. I mean, I knew I was missing scenes. I just didn't think we were gonna see them all now. Oh, Rob, you scared me. See that fruit up there? It looks delicious, doesn't it? But I can't reach it. Ah! <sighs> Thanks. Okay, I got it. You're still- you're stronger than you look. Here, try a piece. I, every time it like fades out like that, I expect someone to be standing on the bottom left that's like, my precious girl. You know, I just realized something. Even if my art career is a flop, I'll always have a friend to catch me on the way down. Yep, you'll have me. I'm, I'm apparently going to be catching literally everyone in town at the rate things are going. I know Jazz can play around the lake on her own. Yeah, darn it, dude. So she might be around the lake. One thing I want to not forget to do is I want to pick up all of the... There's Leah. Uh, didn't I bring an item she loves? Or something? Or something? Didn't I? Maybe I didn't. I could have sworn. I don't know. Uh, you probably like cake. Everyone had... She doesn't like cake. Come on. 
That was a very good healing item that I just gave to you there. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go back to the farm, and I'm going to pick up all of my sprinklers so that I can bring them over to, well, the other farm, I suppose. Oh, geez, look at all this. Yeah, we haven't checked on all these in a while. And a triple shot espresso, sure. Oh, yeah, unfortunately, all this is going to start filling up with trash again. <laughs> what you hate to see. All right. Smackaroni and cheese all these down. Get rid of that too. I don't intend on ever using this farming ground ever again. So I'm just gonna get rid of it and bring it over because I don't want those pineapples to die. And I also want to have enough room to actually start farming and putting things on the other farm. One thing that you also have to, well, you don't have to consider actually is on the island, there's no crows. So nothing's ever going to die from crows. It can thunderstorm though, so they can have lightning strike. That pig made three truffles today, good lord. I'm gonna close that so they don't get out again. Well, I guess I'll place that truffle. Wow, wow. I know I have something to sell, right? Yeah, the dandelion. Might as well put the truffle in. Uh, you do, do you get iridium truffle oil? You don't. I have iridium truffles, but not iridium truffle oil, and you hate to see it. Don't I still have the, yeah, I do. I need these for two things now, I realize. Both for the kegs and for the lightning rods. So I'll keep that in mind. Uh, I'll go ahead and make some, well, hmm. It's not gonna let me, because I have too many items. Put these away, put everything else. All these. I just have so many items. I should put some ginger in my fridges, but I'll make some of these because I desperately need batteries. Uh, where are you gonna let me put these, huh? There. There, there. Not there. Can't put it there because that's where Robin works on it. How about here? <laughs> Sweet. Now it's just littered all over the place. 11.30 already. Like I said, it feels like I'm just in a rush for time constantly now. Well, now that we can fit more things in here. In fact, you know, I could put the truffle oil in there. I'm pretty sure that's used for something. Put some ginger, not all of it. Um, algae. I doubt I'm gonna be able to make anything out of the pizza, but yeah. Oh, hey, look, ginger ale, it's funnily enough. Neat. Soothing effect on the stomach and it raises your luck by a point. Ooh, that'd be really good for going into the, the skull cavern with, because that's one of the very few food items that raises your luck or drink items rather is what I mean. I think we're good. Still, I have tons of items. I'm going to have to make a chest when we go to the... Uh... Actually, you know what? Don't even withdraw the wood. Just make a chest right outright so I can place this over in the island tomorrow. But that's not today. We're done today. Also, I'm going to put away this uh, sword, galaxy sword for now, because I don't need it. It still has the, I should say has the potential through forging upgrades to be stronger than the Dragon Tooth Club could ever be. But I don't plan on upgrading it. I plan on upgrading the Galaxy Club instead. That's the plan. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you're enjoying the island life. I'll see you all next time and good night.